for life itself. Hallelujah. We just want to say, Baba, oh, she. We just want to say, Baba, oh, she. We just want to say, Lord, we just want to. We want to say Baba, Baba wa eshe. We just want to say Baba o eshe. In Jesus name we worship. Praise the Lord. Let's be comfortably seated. Tell somebody I'm glad to see you in Bible study today. I'm glad to see you in Bible study. He says, study to show thyself approved. So we have come to study the word of God. Hallelujah. And he will approve you, he will approve me in the name of Jesus. If you have his approval, nobody can put you down. If you have God's approval... Doors and gates will open to you on their own accord like they did for Peter when he brought him out of prison. You will leave this place with his approval tonight in the name of Jesus. Mark chapter 16. If you have a Bible that has the book of Mark, go there. You know where to find Mark? You won't find it in the Old Testament. Oh. It's in the New. Praise the Lord. Matthew, Mark. Hallelujah. Are you there? We are reading verse 14 to the end. May the Lord bless the reading of his word into our hearts in Jesus' name. Mark 16. I read from verse 14. Later, he appeared to the eleven. That's Jesus. As they sat at the table. And he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But will condemned and signs will follow those who believe in my name they will speak with new tongues they will take up serpents they drink anything deadly Verse 19 and 20. So then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was saved up into heaven and, and preached everywhere. Accompanying signs. Amen. Amen. Means so. As we normally do during a Bible study, you from that passage that we read. So get the second microphone ready. What struck your heart? What did You don't raise up your hand, I will call you. What did the Holy Spirit tell you? Sister Sheyi, your laughter was the loudest. So give her. Scripture, really. What really I have actually always jumps at me the 15th verse and he said unto them 
Mm. Go ye into that scripture. How do I go? You know, I just, I just like so. I'll just start going. I'll, be, I'll just, but you know, over time. enough to be able to go who else I'm real God's will is going to tell us God's mind tonight so yeah bro God's will um Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart. Believe it may not be every day, but every time when they are gathering and he's teaching, centered on the fact that I will leave you, but I will still come back. To, to think which we do and over and over okay. and over again. Most times the human mind is confirmation. But then let So I want you to understand is it's it's like a, um, it's like preparing to fail because left with you and your flesh and left with you and man there is no way you can believe what God has messages from God and give it unto us. So, it's just like that interaction. He was liking that interaction. It was like as long as this entity is present in this form, in your mm. heart, there is every tendency that you will believe my words that I have spoken. Praise God. God bless you. Give it to Mrs. Elisha behind you. Madam, I've never heard your voice. So, I want to hear that voice today. Say it to us in any way you understand it we read from you were here when we were reading abby yes sir uh -huh. mark 16. Mm. which particular verse was impressed on your heart ma as we read verse 17. verse 17 all right ma so let's hear it and this sign shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out Devil, and shall speak with new tongues. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. This place is uh, telling me that there is there is no there is no sickness or there is no nothing mm. that the name of Jesus cannot do. Hallelujah. Uh, if you believe. Name they are not hearing you, Mao. If you, yes, ma. The name is powerful and heal. The name can do everything that one think is not possible. In the name of Jesus, it will be possible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says they went, they went out and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word. Um, it does start into the question that she.
do we go out and where do we preach? Mm. But I found out that actually, um, anywhere you and preach to them at the office. And I found out that it now says that when we do doing with signs and with one if you don't go out but if you go wherever it is that you have an influence it can just be your neighborhood some people can be where you go to every morning or you know where you do your business This evening, we are looking at relational evangelism. I believe the church in Lagos, this is our but we are still on it. Oh, we are finished. Because I know that we are not, uh, we are not up to date. At the finish. <laughs> All right. We are looking at relational evangelism. Actually, last week, I, let me confess, before I came here last week, I really didn't know what I was going to share with us in Bible study. Then I stepped in here, and before praise and worship was over, I was torn between, should I share what I shared last week? Are you among the 20? Or this one, relational evangelism. I had a serious conflict there before I came here. Which one should I share? Because I taught this in a capro class about two or three Saturdays ago. But I settled for, are you among the 20? So this week, um, it was just yesterday or so. It was yesterday, as I was leaving the office, that I got the call that I should step into the shoes of the person that should be standing here this evening. So I said, ah, it's like God wants me to share this topic. Praise God. Now, before I go into relational evangelism, from that passage, of course, um, that passage is titled, The Great Commission. If you have a Bible like mine, both here and here, the soft copy is titled, The Great Commission. <laughs> That's the singular assignment Jesus left for the church. Go ye into all the world. Go ye into all the world. Last Saturday, I was praying with um, the head of um, Capro in the southwest Nigeria. We pray every Saturday morning online. And when he came online and we started praying, I could sense from his voice that, ah, this guy's voice is shaky. His voice was rather shaky. You know. And before I could ask, is there anything the matter? He said, sir, I am burdened. He said, I am burdened. I am, in fact, the word he used was, I feel overwhelmed. He said yesterday, every Friday, they, they do what they call diaspora evangelism. They go to Bodija, where the Fulanis are, the houses. And then there is a community just behind the Mokola church. You have a lot of Fulani houses there. Um, about a year or two ago, Sheyimakede came, demolished the shanty. All the shanties, they are directed behind the Mokola church, the Ekota church. But if you go back there now, they are rebuilding those things gradually. They defecate behind the church. Sometimes Sunday morning when I'm upstairs in the gallery, you know, and I look behind, you see them. They are washing clothes. Sometimes the women, they are bare-chested, washing clothes in the stream behind the church. So he said, the Friday before, they went to that place. To reach out to the people. He said one of us. Turned 70. And decided to cook. So they took food along. So as we evangelize them. As we preach Christ to them. We will give them food. The woman decided to celebrate her 70th birthday. Amongst them there. <laughs> and one of those women. One of them is a professor in UIO. Professor. They call them women in mission. He said when we got there. Brodele. Now, he knew that there were many of them. But he said he was staggered 
by the multitude that came out. He said, Brother Lady, not is here. And that is just behind the church. Oh. Not to talk of the one in Bodija. Not to talk of the one at Mokola Roundabout. That they drove away. They drove away for about two weeks. We didn't see them there. But they are back there. So you don't have to go to Kaduna, to Kano, to Sokoto, to Gombe, to Bonu to reach them. They are with you. Just look around in this your Lagos. They are with you. The people you need to reach, let's even leave them. Your next door neighbor is the person born again. And Jesus Christ said, go. Go and preach. Go and teach these people what I've taught you. And it's amazing. He said, to those who believe, these are the signs. Follow. If you go in his name, believing on him, those signs, if they are that, it's only for pastors. As many as believe. Let's read signs again. They sat at the table and they rebuilt. We are looking at relational evangelism. You that. Somebody that was betrayed by one of his disciples. Somebody that was denied three times by one of his disciples. He died. He was buried. After three days, he rose again. And the first thing he would say to those disciples as the eleven that remained, ten, ten that remained, because he addressed Peter separately. Peter denied that he didn't know him. So, Peter and the ten. You would think he would say, ah, 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 we hate together. There was no way I went that I didn't take you guys. Yet you, you denied me many times. No. The first thing he said to them was, in fact, the Bible, he rebuked them for their own belief. Addend. What is addend concerning I like this one. I don't like this one. And hey, this one suits me. That one is too hard. Genesis to Revelation. More seriousness. Doing mightier things. Going. Than. Company. Those who say. Can enjoy all the so called prosperity and. I was and within. 